Good afternoon. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. This is BBRY. I'm actually still in this thing. Hard to believe it's 2 o'clock in the afternoon and I'm still in a trade. But you know what? This is a light trading week, holiday week. So you get something good, you stick with it. Um, at least I am, you know, today. And I did say this morning, this is a day you could trade in the afternoon. I thought some things would go and get underway here today. As it turns out, all the stuff that was gapping down this morning pretty much failed. Um, this is the only thing that I did. It's the only thing I liked um, that really I felt I could sink my teeth into and had 100% conviction in. So this is what I did. Was really a tough setup, though. I got to be honest with you, this was not easy. If I hadn't stuck with this guy, um, I wouldn't be in it here now. And it actually is showing a lot of potential here to really break on through. I did say when I closed out the trading room, this is going to be an all-day hold. And pretty much it is. Look at the time here. So I think it's going to have to wait till it gets under 10 till it really, really crashes through the bottom. So I'm looking for a target in this of 980, 970, 960, 950. I don't think 950 is totally unrealistic today. That would be a dollar extension on this. It's just something that you're going to have to wait until it breaks down later into the afternoon. In fact, let's look at the market quick here. Just want to see here. It's 2 o'clock at Bristol time with the market. And then I'll go over what I did with that PBRY. Look at this market here. So the market looks like it's trying to hold and wants to do a 15-minute buy setup in here. But really, around the lunchtime period, if we were crazy, crazy strong, we would have held in here. I think this should have held in here, actually. But this is tricky. And we still could hold in here and carry through and then close with a green body, not a big one. That's not the reason this is working. This is totally independent of the market. This is a good gap. It was a great, great gap on Friday. It's a great, great gap today. It actually gapped down today. It actually opened at 10.03, okay? So I didn't look at it as a new gap, though, today. I actually even didn't even rate it as a new gap, to be honest with you. I looked at it as a continuation gap and just played it on through. But this chart is lower. There were so many people in this on Friday, a ridiculous amount of people. In fact, how many are in it right now? 30 million. I thought there'd be 50 million in this before the end of the day. It may not get there. But if the selling starts to come in hard under 10, I, it could. It really, really could. There's two hours left in the day. What's going on in the stock now is, first of all, the gap happened Friday. It was a terrible gap. It was a very demonstrative gap for this chart. People that were long the stock, picking this bottom in here, sold out of it on Friday. That's what created the red. So when this rally today, I had 100% conviction that it was nothing but a rally into resistance and was not getting bought. And it wasn't, even though I'm sure day traders looked at this as a novice gap and bought it in here. And it's not the correct direction. The correct direction is with the power money people and the power money people are down. This stock over the long term, I see will be getting down and breaking all time lows this year, some, somewhere under six, five dollars is a target. That's, that's very realistic now. This is a damaging gap. And on top of that, people are going to start to take in and enter this as a swing trade or core trade to the short side. So people were picking this bottom in here and then sold out of it. I do think there was some shorting that occurred in this too. There was too much volume. There was both, mostly selling. And then the follow through today. So when this first bar rallied up here today, it's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful retracement into the resistance area. Right away, it's quick, hard, and fast in the first 15 minutes of the day, and it settled down in here. And at one point, I thought, gosh, you know, this might get up to 1060, and I really didn't want to see that, but it held at 10, the 1050 level. So you could have been in this in the morning. It was aggressive. It was very aggressive to do this out of the gate. Why? Continuation gaps. You cannot play this exactly the same way as you play brand new gaps, which is why I like to focus on brand new gaps in the day. This just was the best thing out there that I loved. And I do think this actually goes red on the day. It's very close to doing it now. It's very, very close to doing it now. It's within 11 cents of going red on the day. Once this goes red on the day, all bets are off on this thing, and we'll start to see the extension on it. But either way, this is a nice trade. I'm up in it here now. We'll see where this goes. I think, you know, $9 is the original target I was looking at today on this. I think it's a dream world to see if it could get to $9. Now it's almost $2.15. But I don't think 980, 970, 960, 950, I don't think any of those numbers are out of the realm of possibility for this. 
This is BBRY. This is a continuation gap from Friday. Was on my top watch. I knew, knew that it was beautiful. And actually, I'm sure some people held this overnight. That's why this gap down then this morning. And I followed it on through. This was really tough. Why? This set up late. This is late, 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 late set up for me. And the rally was hard. And it actually did go over the high of the day. In fact, it went over the high of the day twice. And I still didn't give up on it. I still did not lose conviction in it. It's just one of these things where I am so sure of myself. So, so sure of myself. I, 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 I really could have given it a cushion. I mean, I was just so sure of this. I mean, I could have even given this a cushion looking at it all the way up to 1075. I mean, it didn't need it. It just when I saw this, when I, I knew on Friday there was no chance this wasn't going to follow through today. And then when I got up this morning and saw it gapping down, I said, you know, there's no chance this isn't going to work today. And then when it rallied up hard, I said, Jesus, is rallying a little bit more than I thought, except for the fact the market was rallying and was rallying strong. And actually, when this ran up into the first resistance area, this came in hard. And I was up money quickly into that first drop. Then it retested. And that's when it booped over the high of the day. But it's still, and that's why I'm saying it was tricky. Here, here's what was tricky about it. Let me show you. I got to pay attention to this now, though. Here's what this did. Here's what I mean by the trickiness. This is a hard rally. Held here beautifully. Came in and dropped. Flipped over the high of the day once and twice, you know, but it was good. I mean, it was really, really good. And the fact is that these are areas. These are areas. From here to here is a difference of only seven cents, really. And the life of the stock, that's not that much. But this is what it needed to break. It was the timing. It was the timing of it and the pushback. But do you see how I, when I saw this here, and it looks aggressive as far as the rally goes, but I knew that it wasn't buying. I knew it was sure covering here into the open of the stock. That people had taken it overnight and were up. And they were up. So they covered. And and I just knew that this thing wasn't going to go anywhere today but down. And it was just a matter of getting at the right place and trying to be patient. And that is not one of my strong suits, but I I had a hundred percent conviction in this. I forced myself to be patient. I didn't give up on it. And you really got to get to a place within yourself where you understand what that conviction means. It's not that you do things that are crazy when a stock isn't working, where you just can't give up on your bias. It's that you know and understand the story. What's the story here? The story is the gap. The story is the gap from Friday. And this tells it all. This tells it all. People thought this stock was recovering. They thought that this was moving higher. They picked and picked and picky picky pooed this bottom in here, and there were several bullish gaps, but none of them I would have ever been long in. Okay, and there was a, quite a few. Here's one, here's one, here's one, here's one. There's bullish gaps all over the place in this chart, and it was trying to hold it, and it did hold it. Held this for a long, 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 long time of about six months. But the fact is, the stock was in a downtrend. This is why it's so important to learn how to read trends and understand when something's really recovering or not. There wasn't a recovery. Nothing, nothing at all that happened in here was a recovery. And yet people were buying this. That's why this gap that happened on Friday is just tells a story. That's one of these things that you, you see, actually, if you know what to look for, you see quite often. But then again, every time I see it, I say, wowie, wowie, man. Because you know what? This thing is going to all-time lows sometime this year. It's going to see $5. You bet your booty. So people are, are going to see that in here, too. And they're going to start to shorten this top heavily and push it all the way down. So I'm in this thing today. I'm up in it already. I'm waiting for the push down to really, really, really strongly get paid in this if it can get there. I think nine, $9 is unrealistic today now. It's getting too late. But I don't think $9.50 is out of the realm of possibility here for this. So it is 2.15. Got past the 2 o'clock reversal time. Beautiful, beautiful, hard, difficult, tough, but beautiful short today in this BBRY. And you really had to have conviction to know what to do with it. Otherwise, shorting into a rally like that is touch and go. You got to make sure that you know that it's going to continue. And it actually traded up into the bar from Friday. Look, tough. What was the high here? 
Look at that. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. This is BBRY. This is the play of the day here, July 1st. July is off to a good start. Earning season starts next Monday, July 8th. And this week will be light. But I'll tell you, this is off to a good little start in here. Why? Nice follow through. Tough to get, but held the conviction. Strong, strong, strong. And once this baby breaks $10, I'm going to be singing and dancing. So have a great day, everyone. Have a wonderful July 4th holiday if I don't talk to you. This is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. If you're interested in more information on learning how to trade these gaps and have the conviction, get the conviction, email me at Melissa at the StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everybody.